What's up and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm so excited because we're going to be doing another massive transformation with Miss Lisa G. Ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> What's up everybody? How y'all doing? <laughs> Your favorite redhead here. Thank you. We're going to be doing a bleach retouch along with a little bit of color correction going mm -hmm. on. Actually lots of color correction. Yeah. We got bands on bands on bands on bands. You know how we like to do these bands on bands. We love bands. Yeah, we like fixing bands. But they don't make her dance though. <laughs> We're also going to be doing a uh, extension transformation yes. along with this color correction. This is a pretty big color correction. In We're, the same day. In the same day. So this is not going to be a 15 hour <gasps> transformation. However, we did get started at six o'clock in the morning. In addition to the level one hair that we're working with to get her to that level 10, mm -hmm. we're trying to go for white hair, white blonde. Mm -hmm. We are dealing with compromised hair. Again. I mean, I mean, what would a color transformation be without compromised hair? <laughs> what kind of Morella Lisa collab would it be without it, it, compromised it, broken hair? Exactly. It, it, wouldn't just, be, it, wouldn't be, it wouldn't even be a transformation. It, it wouldn't be a collab. No. Too easy. Too easy. We'll see what happens with yes. the dance. So pray to the hair gods for us that we don't melt any hair off. Okay. But I mean, we got those 22 inch extensions to it's fix fine. this bad That's boy cool. up. No big deal. She breaks her off. It's all right. We got some weave. Good. <laughs> but before we move on, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on all notifications so you don't miss a tutorial. And also follow Lisa. She's got a YouTube channel too. I do. I don't post on a lot, but I'm sorry. Well, now let's go ahead and get started. Yeah! All right, guys, so this is my model, Jamie, and she's actually a hairstylist. And as much as we are knowledgeable as hairstylists, it is almost impossible to get an even application and lift when we're doing our own hair. So this is not to bash Jamie whatsoever. She overall did the best job she could. I know that if I try to do this on myself, it would probably come out similar. But sometimes we just gotta do what we gotta do with our circumstances. And sometimes just as hairstylists, it's hard to get to a hair salon, especially if you don't actively work in one. So she is more freelance, so she kind of works on her own. And I just like to tell the backstory on this because she is using professional products, which is great because because we're able to know exactly what she's using but you can see she's got a six week grow out going on and lots of orange bands and we're also dealing with some white hair here and we have a lot of compromised hair to work through so this is going to be a pretty delicate process our overall goal is to take this level one hair lift it to at least a level nine if not a ten and then even out all of these bands and we're also going to be adding in extensions all in one day the first thing we're going to do with any type of correction like this is prep her hair with k18 you just dampen their hair and then spray a few sprays of the k18 and leave it on for four minutes and usually we use this time to go ahead and mix up our lightener so we're going to be using lisa's favorite which is equal parts of the cream lightener the cool toned blonde and extra blonde black light oligo lightener yes you can mix all three of them in one bowl, which is pretty amazing. And then we're gonna be using the 30 volume developer that's dedicated to this lightener. Now it's highly recommended that you use this developer. It is a little bit more on the expensive side, but I'm actually learning that I really like this lightener too. And so does Lisa and so does everybody else in the salon, especially for these types of corrections. So to get started, you know how Lisa and I like to do half and half. We just want to kind of bang this out and get it put on and done. So we're going to split her hair right in half and I'm going to work on the left side and she'll work on the right side. Something to note is we are going to leave her baby hairlines out because she does have a ton of breakage there. So that is intentional when you see us skipping over that. We will get that later at the end when we have a little bit more control when we're doing the application. Because Jamie came in with a six week grow out, this was actually the perfect amount of regrowth. I wouldn't want her to go any longer. So this is why Lisa and I felt comfortable with doing this form of application of just applying it right onto her root area. So we're really focused more on that new growth and taking the lightener all the way down to the line, but trying not to overlap. Now overlap will happen, it is inevitable, and we are gonna also be kind of cleaning out that canvas a little bit later. However, 
We still need to treat this as a delicate process, taking really thin sections and getting both sides of the hair. So you can see that I'm applying on each side of the section. So I bring it down, apply the lightener right on top, and then on the underside of the other section. Lisa and I continue to work through each of the sections, just focusing on that new growth area, and we let her process for about 50 minutes. For this front hairline, I'm really just focused again on the new growth area, leaving that hairline out. We will address it at the very end. So when you see her very first wash out, you're gonna be like, what the heck, why'd you leave out? All of that dark hair, I promise you that the hair actually lifts pretty quickly, especially on the hairline. So be sure to like really assess the health of your client's hair when doing a bleach and tone. If you feel that it is really delicate and a little over compromised to begin with, like Jamie's hair, go ahead and leave it out. You can always process it right at the bowl. You can already see here as soon as I was done applying, she is already getting a great amount of lift in the back. And Lisa's just going ahead and finishing up right throughout the front. I've been actually enjoying making videos with Lisa because we do hair so differently. And this just goes to show that she's actually taking much thinner sections than I am. But again, this is not to say that there is a right or a wrong way in our application because you'll see at the very end, we got a great even lift. And this just goes to show that there's a million ways to do one thing. So even though she took her time doing this application and I was Miss Speedy Gonzalez and got this on right away, we got a really gorgeous end result. We went ahead and put a processing cap over her because I didn't want to dehydrate the lightener. And this was about 40, maybe 35 minutes into the application. So we went ahead and checked it and we decided we needed to leave it on a little longer. So keep in mind when you're doing this type of lift, the lightener can be deceiving because it does have that blue tone to it. We want the inside of a banana peel and this was just not there yet so we had a processor for an additional time so like I said I think we did about 50 minutes total and you can definitely see a huge difference between that 30 minute mark and the 50 minute mark so like I mentioned we left those hairline hairs out for a reason so we're just going to shampoo this out and condition her, finish her up again with another K18 treatment and take her back to the chair on 100% dried hair using our brand new California Dream In Framar foils. We love Framar. And now we're gonna go in and basically do a platinum card. So this platinum card is to have a little bit more control, like I said, with those hairline highlights, something that's a little bit more fragile. We decided to use the cream lightener for this. And then for the rest of it, we decided to basically hand pick out all of those bands. She had a ton of bands. So this entire application right here is just with cream lightener and the 20 vol. <laughs> team Lisa though. No, Team Morella. No, Team Lisa. You, you got me, you were you got me looking Amish right now with my hairline. <laughs> I, got too little. I knew you were gonna fucking say that. What? <laughs> Team Lisa? Yeah. Hey, you're you're fit. You started it actually. You started that whole Team Lisa Team Rolla thing. Yeah. So uh, I did. uh huh. It's because I'm the best. <laughs> Do you hear what I have to do? With? I'm the best. Let's just be real. I'm the best. No, you know what? I'll hype her up. Cause look, this is gonna make her uncomfortable. The reason why I live in California is because of her. I moved here across the country to work with her. That's the honest truth. You haven't done it right yet. You know exactly. it. Exactly. Let me do something. Look, like look, she doesn't say anything. See? She, she's, she's quiet. Let me do something different. I don't like getting compliments. I know. <laughs> you can be an ass, but you can't take a compliment. I know. I'm like, okay. So, like, the way to shut you up is be nice to you. <laughs> now, to speed things up here, Lisa and I went through this, literally combed through this, no pun intended. But picking out each of these little bands and the, one of the reasons why we like this cream lightener is because it is really gentle and in addition to the k18 this also has a bond builder built into it so it has honestly it was a it's a magic lightener to be completely transparent with you just because 
of the integrity of the hair that it's left with. It just feels really silky, soft, and overall hydrated. Like I mentioned, we picked through this strand by strand, full on platinum card here, but I wouldn't even call this a traditional platinum card. This was more of a corrective platinum card. Once we got those foils on throughout the back and Lisa started doing this throughout the front, I was like, uh, let's go ahead and check the back because again, we are dealing with really compromised hair and she did have lots of white bands as well as those orange bands. So I just wanted to double check. So it had been on at this point, I would say like maybe 15, 20 minutes throughout the back. And once I got through that first couple foils, I was like, you know what? Let's go ahead and stop right here. Let's take her to the shampoo bowl immediately so that way we can remove these foils because we just couldn't keep up with how quickly her ends were lifting. So we took her back to the shampoo bowl and rinsed it out. And basically Lisa went ahead and just shampooed this back section, but we finished the foil application right here at the bowl. Again, she just picked it through strand by strand, foil by foil, just spot lifting at this point. And we just kept her chilling here for a little while until she was completely done. Cause again, those foils were literally left on for, I would say about 15 minutes. So just keeping her hair at the bowl, especially for this front area, her hair was super compromised. So we just decided to just slap that right on that front hairline. And again, this lifted in 15 minutes. So that's how quickly these little baby hairs can lift, which is pretty amazing. Lisa finished it up with some Pelore shampoo. Again, it has a bond builder in it. We we're bond building up the crap out of her hair. I will link all of the products down below in the description if you want to check it out. But so far, this has been like Lisa's favorite thing to put on the hair, as well as, again, K18. So we've done K18 in between each and every single service that we've done so far. So even though this platinum card was really short, it was essential in maintaining the control. And if you want to check out some more platinum card techniques and videos, be sure to check out my playlist as well as some other videos I've done with Lisa. I have tons of platinum card tutorials on my channel. The link will be in the description of this video. So once we got that rinsed out, Lisa just had her sit right on up and did a wet balayage just to kind of buff out any old toner as well as even out her hair. We already know that her hair is going from a level one to a nine ten. So at the end of the day, we know we're going to deal with really compromised hair and porous hair at that. This is why we did so many treatments in between each of the services. As long as you communicate this to your client, everybody's all good. However, since her hair was already compromised, we knew what her ends were probably going to do, especially after this third application. And again, we communicated that to her. So just by the looks of it, we know that that doesn't look too great. So we're just gonna go ahead and do a little choppy chop on those ends. Here's the final product of what it looks like. Freshly lightened. This is with no toner. This is raw bleach, raw lift. Lisa gave her a really good cut because we're prepping her for not only her next toner, but we also have to color match her to some extensions that we got her through Donna Bella Hair. Again, I'm gonna put all of the links in the description of the toner and the hair and everything, all of the steps in the description. I'm super excited about this transformation and about how even we got her hair in just this really long process of hair color. So this is the toner magic formula we're going to be using Diamond Frost 10N and 10B in Kenra Professional Demi Permanent with 9 volume developer. For the root area, we actually decided to go in with equal parts of 10N and 10B and just kind of tap that in. And then for the mids and ends, we basically blended that into that 10N, 10B and Diamond Frost concoction. Even though we didn't want to do like a shadow root or anything like that, we decided to go ahead and put the darker formula at the top. Even though they're all a level 10, that Diamond Frost just kind of shares out that tone because we do want it to blend into our hair extensions. So a little tip when blending in hair extensions, you want to blend it in to the ends of the hair. So it was really important that we kept her ends as light as possible to blend it into those Donabella hair 22 inch color 80. 
We let this toner process for a full 20 minutes. I also want to mention we mix this up one to one for maximum saturation, which is why we applied it onto dry hair as well. And after that 20 minutes, this is what it looks like. So beautiful, right in the bowl. Seriously obsessed. This is the ultimate hair porn because we all get so excited when we see this in the bowl. And once she's all done, shampooed and final K18 treatment, we got ready to put in just two rows of hair extensions. So something to note that I didn't talk about on my last hair video with Lisa, is, or actually was I think the first one when we did that hair makeover with the hair extensions, everyone was like, why did you put the beads so far down low? The honest truth is because when you're working with any type of color correction and multiple processes in one day, the scalp can be a little tender at the end of the day. So we wanted to install these with the maximum amount of comfort. We're actually going in with an invisible beaded method for this install. If you wanna check out a video on how that's done, be sure to check out the link down below. And here is the final result, you guys. Like this looks freaking amazing. And this is in warm lighting inside of the salon. Now we're basically going in, shaping it up, keeping as much length as possible. Lisa has an amazing technique that she does when cutting hair extensions and blending them into the existing hair. And we actually just finished up a hair extension class. And if you want more information on our next class, be sure to sign up for my email list as well. The link is in the description at morellaminelli.com. And here is the final result. This is a natural indirect lighting. It was at the end of the day. So at this time, it is a little bit more of a cooler lighting versus the beginning of the day, the sun is kind of like on this side of the building. But nonetheless, I'm so glad we finished just in time to capture this glorious head of white blonde hair. And I say white blonde because it is a blonde hair hair shade with a white reflection. This is literally the ultimate makeover, you guys, because going from a level one with orange bands and compromised hair, lots of breakage, honestly couldn't have turned out any better than this. And here's under the hood, nice clean stitching. It's gonna last her about six to eight weeks. And we're actually gonna see her in six weeks for another touch up and then probably move these extensions up in the second visit because we just want to give her hair a little bit of a rest. And comment down below what you think of this makeover or maybe something you learned. Honestly, I'm so excited how this turned out. <laughs> Woo! We did it. We did it. it. Lisa did it. Lisa did no, it. Let's be real. It. It's 618. Yes. So how many hours is that? 10 hours. 10 hours. 10 effing hours <laughs> and that shit looks so good i am super excited about it i think it looks amazing yeah. like we I, I honestly like we just kept saying wow 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 i got the, the words entire i really i don't have yeah because right i think what it is is that we just weren't expecting it no. to be as perfect as it came out honestly and like that's we not, and we we never do really no. we, we always go at it with like our best foot forward trying yeah. to obviously we want it to look perfect but you always have that like a little bit of Apprehension, especially yeah. with banding, especially with compromise hair. Yes, always, especially going from level one mm -hmm. to a level 10. Mm -hmm. And you just really never know truly how the day is gonna go, but I feel like it looks amazing. Her health, hair feels like it's in great condition. I'm in La La Land right she now. She loves it. Yeah. And that's really all that matters. Um, I, don't have, I don't have the words. No, I'm just, no I'm words. like, I'm in shock right now. Like I can't even, <laughs> there's, there's nothing, there's not a damn thing wrong with it. Like there was no like, oh, maybe, no. It was just no, it was perfect. fluid, it was perfect. I, I don't, extensions on point, like literally, like we couldn't have blended the extensions better into I... her hair better. Like honestly, just the, the toner color, that diamond frost, holy crap, like it's just amazing. So it, hopefully you loved this video as much as uh, we loved making this video yeah, for you. <laughs> and if you did, please give it a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe. Be sure to follow Lisa on all of her social channels, artistry of Lisa G. Damn right. Hey. You want your hair transformed? Shoot us an email. Yeah, send Lisa the email. I already get enough emails. Like Lisa it. at rebelfem.com. <laughs> make sure you like, subscribe, and comment below your favorite thing about the video. Oh yeah, and make sure you comment. Are you Team Lisa or Team Morella? Oh, Team Lisa. Team Lisa all the way. <laughs>
Before Lisa interrupted me, be sure you follow me on all my other social channels like Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok, all under Morella Minnelli. Mm -hmm. And if you want free education sent right to your inbox, be sure to head on over to morellaminnelli.com and Minnelli. sign up Minnelli. for my newsletter. Yeah. Um, I have lots of education coming up too, so you're not gonna wanna miss that, so be sure you're on that email list. And finally, be sure to check out my other hair tutorials right here on this channel. And see I'll soon. see you next time. We'll see you soon.